Hello and welcome everyone to the fourth episode of the docking. Alright, well, I mean of the tutorial, which is docking. Um, now, one of the major things that I kind of didn't cover that well and I just breezed through it because I ran out of time in the last video, and it is the RCS, and I call the the thrusters, RCS, whatever, um, basically the same thing, or whatever. Anyways, um... You don't want to put a lot of the thrusters on your craft, especially if it's small. Um, with the RCS, you kind of want to be lenient. You want to put just enough to where it can get it moving and change it by like point, you know, point one meters per second. Um, you know, you, you don't want to put like tons of the thrusters on there. Number one, too. I, if you look what I have right now, I only have about half a tank of RCS fuel. Um, you don't need a lot of RCS to actually dock up. I mean, 42 is, a, like, for me, that is kind of scary, but I, I should be able to manage at 119, or what is it, 114 meters away. Um, I have it paused right now just because I don't want to be moving towards or, you know, away from the target, and I can explain things to you guys a little bit better. Now, if you look at my nav ball here, my nav ball itself, you see where I'm aimed, and you see my prograde, and you see, like, the, um, you know, this is basically the back end of, like, the spacecraft that I'm coming towards, which is, you can see, these are the legs, I think, and this is the, uh, the engine, or something, whatever, um, now when it comes to docking, you want to make sure that, you know, I don't really use SAS that much when I'm docking, which is, a lot of people say it's harder to do it that way, but I find it a little bit easier because you can move the, uh, the, uh, docking port any way you want, and then if, if you want, you can use SAS to just kind of lock it in. When you use, when you're, when you are docking, you want to use your IJK and L keys, and also HNN. HNN control your forward and backward movement, and I, J, K, and L will control, you know, up, down, left, right. Um, some people switch to docking mode. I don't use that at all, ever. I, I, I see no purpose in it. It overcomplicates it. Um, now, like I, I'm going to come through the nap ball right now. Uh, it, basically, when you are retrograde and prograde, that means you are... Retrograde means you are moving in that direction, um, and you are moving closer to your target but you're moving in that direction towards your target so in a sense right now i like where my spacecraft is i'm gonna be going underneath it and going that way if you can read the nav ball it kind of as well as i can um you know you can just you're gonna be going straight underneath it and i'm gonna use that to my advantage because i'm not moving too fast so let's get out of pause let's unpause here and I should be going somewhat underneath the spacecraft. If not, I might be on somewhat of a collision course. Now, if you use your RCS, you know, you can see I'm using it right now. And you can move. You know, that's just me moving it all by myself, you know, with the uh, RCS. You, you can move and you can move it with the RCS. Now, if you want to, you can use that to kind of line yourself up a little bit. And then you do a short RCS burst to kind of just cancel out that, uh, you know, momentum that you have. Now, I need to get on the other side of this, which I think I'm going to go to this vehicle right now. And I'm just going to see if they have the SAS turned on and everything else. I Actually, I can't. Oh, no, I forgot. There we go. I can do it this way. Yeah, see, they don't have anything turned on. Now, I'm going to flip this one around, just like this, and just lock it into position on prograde. Now, I hope I didn't mess anything up. Or, I mean, actually, I'm not going to put it on prograde. I'm going to put it right here and stop it. Now, this one, I am going to... RCS and everything is on. Now I'm going to back up, and I hope I don't run out of SAS fuel, because that would just suck. Um, I would have to use the other spacecraft. 
If anything, I think I might use the other spacecraft just to be on the safe side. Now, I need to fl turn off this and flip the spacecraft around and set this as the target. There we go. Now, I really wish I had more light on the situation. I guess I should have put some lights on these things. It's always those thoughts that, you know, you don't really remember doing something or whatever. I think I might be using the other orbiter as the uh, docking. Just because right now I'm running low. 22 is just not enough for me. Uh, okay, so let's switch over to the other spacecraft and uh, turn on RCS and reverse this bad boy. Yeah, you can see, look at that, wow. I put a lot of ports on this thing for no reason. All right, I gotta set this, all right, yeah, see, it was in orbit, now it's in target mode. So now you can see I'm moving prograde, which means I'm moving away from the target. And now I'm gonna just cancel out that momentum I'm gonna use the the other thrusters just to basically bring that prograde in there. And look, I'm moving at zero zero. It's a beautiful thing. Now, I find it easier to whoa to just kind of line that up because then it makes the controls a little bit easier. I need to move to the left. Hopefully, I don't run out of time here. That wouldn't be a good thing. Um, you guys would be like, I can't see my tutorial, tutorial, I want my tutorial. Okay, so this one, you kind of got to base it off of your feel of the ship. Like right now, I'm just kind of shooting past it right now. You got to figure out, because sometimes the controls change ship to ship. So you got to feel out the controls a little bit to see what, what does what. Now, if you look, we are really close. Another th good tip, make sure your, your, um, your docking ports are on the right way. Because if they're not, you are going to be one angry person. Um, it happened to me a few times. Now, you can do this just based off the nav ball itself. You can, all you're trying to do is lock that in. So, you look at that. Okay, that's good. How it is. Now, you move up. And we are moving towards the target, or we should be moving towards the target here. And if you look, we are moving towards the target. See, it's prograde right now. You can slow down and, you know, use the magnet force of these things to just kind of let them pull themselves together. You know, all right, right now we're touching, which is even better. And that does not sound good. Um... Oh, see, I overshot it a little bit. Now, all right, yep, there we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, going down, going up. Back up, back up. They will never meet up if they're like this. Um, okay, cancel out that up motion. It's, you know, it's a lot of playing around like this that, you know, you end up seeing, uh, you know, you end up getting better control of your ship because then you figure out how the keys work. Like, you know, I haven't docked in, you know, a few days, so you guys can give me a break on that. You can give me a mulligan. All right, so now we're going to move towards the target again. And, you know, sometimes you want to base it off eye. You want to use the nav ball a little bit. Either one, if you look. Now you want to turn your RCS off when you get that close because they start fighting each other. Look at that. Now we got a dock spacecraft. Um, now I'm going to do a fuel transfer for you guys to see what that is all about because I never really explained any of that. So you want to hold the alt key and click right click on you know this tank right here. Yeah, this one actually has the fuel. So, hold down Alt. Oh, come on. Unclick. There we go. Uh, hold down Alt. Right click. And then you go to this tank here. Well, I'm going to use this tank. And then you use the In feature. In. 
and if you look like you kind of get like momentum off it or something i don't know it's weird so we just stole all the fuel out of this thing i feel bad for these guys um i think i might give them a little bit uh just so they can get out of orbit all right there we go that should be good enough for them if not i'll they can use the remaining rcs to get in get back to uh Kerbin. um so you want this confuses me sometimes um you can you it's the same feature for rcs fuel as well so you click there and then you hit in and that's it and um that that's fuel transfer and docking in one episode i just blew your mind now these guys I don't know, I could do a crew transfer if I wanted to, if you guys want to see the other guys go into space, that's up to you guys. Um, so, as you can see, now we got full RCS fuel in this this one, and we also got, you know, a little bit of fuel and, you know, a little bit of uh, RCS fuel. Um, so, I might as well, just for the sake switch to this one see I don't know how much fuel I could have left some in there now another really cool thing I can show you guys too while we're at it is these docking ports won't you know they're so close together that they they lost the the you know the the magnetism to where they they're not gonna pull towards each other but if you take this you know and you if you want to align something let's say like okay so I think the doors should be aligned. Where's the doors? There we go. Bring the doors that way, right here. This is what I did on my space station, and I learned this kind of the the easier way, I guess, or the hard way. You know. All right. There we go. That looks good enough to me. Um, now you just turn your RCS on, and hit N, and that will reverse you, and then hit your H and bring yourself back close uh, to the uh, target again and it should just yep there you go now you can look the doors are almost perfectly lined up for the most part I these uh, these SAS modules are a little off whatever but that that's because they're when I built them I probably didn't use the same kind of symmetry now, if you, you can see too, because of the SAS being on, this thing is actually kind of shaking a little bit. So what you want to do is turn it off and the shaking will stop. And you have control over both vehicles. You can do whatever you want. You know, that's a basic docking tutorial for you guys. And, um, you know, fuel transfer. Um, I will be sending this crew back to Kerbin, unfortunately, and they are probably going to cry the whole way because I know they wanted to go to the moon. So the next tutorial will be moon landing. Well, maybe moon landing. I might do a rendezvous with a space station that I have in orbit around the moon. So thank you for watching. And, um, if you like what I'm doing here, subscribe. If you have any more questions about the nav ball or, you know, the prograde and the retrograde, I tried to explain it as best as I could, but, you know, I could have forgot something, whatever. Um, you know, just let me know. Um, Till next time, guys.